Hi there, I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com. I'm gonna show you how to adjust the barrels of your chin rest if you need to tighten or loosen or switch out your chin rest in general. Whenever you're adjusting the chin rest barrels, if you're using something like a thumbtack or a paperclip or even some chin rest keys, you have to be careful. Just don't insert it too far into the barrel because then when you adjust it, you're gonna scratch the ribs of the violin. So it's okay to use something like this. It's not ideal, but if you use something like a thumbtack, you just only wanna insert it part of the way and it's very risky still. So there are certain chin rest keys that have just a shorter little nub there. If you insert it there, they're probably, that's probably okay. You're probably not gonna scratch the inside of the violin like that. So my other big piece of advice is to alternate adjusting the barrels a little bit at a time and alternate back and forth. If one of the legs gets too far, uh, it'll get stuck because it's crooked. This one is too high than compared to this one. So it's, it'll seem counterintuitive, but try going back and tightening this one up and then try this one and then go back and do this one. So you have to kind of just keep going back and forth until, until they're free. To loosen, you wanna, if you're looking from above, you wanna go clockwise. So just keep going a little bit. Always making sure that you're not gonna scratch the inside of your violin when you're turning. You wanna really watch that so that you don't scratch your violin while you're doing this. So just go a little bit clockwise and then alternate to the other one. Keep going clockwise. All right, careful. Whoa. All right. To tighten a chin rest, you wanna go counterclockwise if you were looking at it from above. And you basically want the chin rest to be secured. So if it's still moving around, you tighten it up a little bit more, but you don't wanna go so far that you bend this joint. But you want it to be pretty secure and not moving around at all. All right, so if you go slowly and are just very careful not to scratch the ribs of your violin, you should be good. Let me know if you have any other questions. I look forward to seeing you at feathershop.com. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here, right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. Bye, 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 b